like they are deaf. <laughs> <laughs> they don't they want to learn. learn. They are not swear. really ignorant. I think I'm too posh to speak like <laughs> <laughs> okay. the English is a borrowed language from mm. we know who. And this is something that we are supposed to, I don't even know, but there should be a meeting on this. Me, yeah, I said there should be a meeting on this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriam Maliki. We are going to be talking about the ignorance of today's generation. We're talking about our ignorance. <laughs> in learning our language who is at fault is it our parents is it us is it the society it's going to be a random talk show everybody will just tell us what they their think opinion. their own opinion what they think is the problem in my own case i would say it's my fault but let's say in other people's case the parents are at fault and the kids too are at fault some parents now for example because they don't want their kids to look like oh they are this they are that they don't mm -hmm. they, like that. They, are, they don't even speak their language at home they don't want to take them to the village mm -hmm. uh -huh. and they don't go anywhere close to their hometown and that is very bad mm -hmm. because now the parents will be like nobody should speak this language only english exactly. mm -hmm. excuse me parents yeah. should teach their children mm -hmm. their languages <laughs> And then the kids, some of them will be doing, ah, no, I'm not like this, I'm not like that, I cannot learn my language, I cannot speak, even if their parents talk to them, they don't hear, it's like this. And then you tell them, even if it's called let me kill you in their language, don't go, because they do not know how to speak it, and they are okay with it, they are cool, and then that's why, when it's going to be very hard passing down, let's say the history of your language or the mm, history of your culture, yeah, yeah. because what? Because why? Your language is one of the histories. Now, I don't know how to speak my own language, which is my <laughs> own fault. Yes, it's my own fault. It's my own fault because I refuse to learn. <laughs> to have kids now mm. how am i to teach them mm. they will definitely true. not know what is come let me kill you nothing and that's really something everybody mm. wants to be right. like the whites mm. and no that's not us mm. we are no. africans that's just it. So nigerians for that matter we need to do something about this language yes yeah. so over to jasmine tell us something me yes i don't have anything to so <laughs> have you affected? Is it your fault or is it your parents' fault? It is my fault because at the same time uh -huh. I used to hear. Okay, but not friendly. Yes. They're not friends. Right. Okay. Well, me, I feel like it's my fault and it's my parents' fault. Okay. Because I cannot just teach myself if they didn't teach me. And again, if you if you not teach them when they are small. When they grow big, they will not even want to even learn it at all because they won't yeah. see the need. Because yeah. now in time, everybody is speaking English. Everybody yeah. can speak English. It's not English, it's um, Pidgin. And the funny part of it is that even the people in the village, you have been in the village all your life. You just left to go to a town. Maybe just did one month, they'll come back. They don't know how to speak their, their, their tribe again. They yeah. find they find it they find it like they find joy in not knowing how to speak their own language and that is very like I don't know why will you be happy that I don't know how to speak your language yeah. like the very like the, the joy I feel when I hear people speaking many language out of four five language can speak Hausa like English like and you it's only English you know <laughs> <laughs> like you don't know anything again if it's not English. It's very very bad like when i say wrong it's not that you don't stand i'm you telling you, you just stand English. you cannot communicate if you go outside it's english if you want to if you want to speak something maybe with your sister let other people not hear yeah. you will not be able to say it and yeah, come up with this idea be like okay for a whole day in this house nobody should speak english yeah. let us speak our tribe yes and it will be good. Let mm -hmm. us speak our language. Everybody will talk. The one I know. Yeah. The one you don't understand will correct you. No, this is exactly. this. this. But then parents, some I don't want to hear this language. This especially 
especially is. this especially this generation of parents generation of parents unfortunately they feel the that if you speak if you speak if you speak language you're from your village yeah, 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 you're not you're, not, you're, you're in the city push. yeah you're speaking you're speaking tribe they don't want like the in english we're speaking now some parents they don't want their child speaking that they want yes. them to talk like eloquent yes. like Yes, really and then I'll see online other pe- other people from other countries will be looking at us speaking pidgin and will be like wow I want to learn they'll be so excited to learn pidgin and us in Nigeria we don't want to speak pidgin because yeah. you look like you're from the streets yes yeah, so yeah. you're local now, yeah. 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 so they have to embracing their culture and throwing out that is it true. because it's really affecting so many kids today you don't know how to speak your own language Yes, like like it's really bad. Very, very, very bad. <laughs> yes, like for yourself. Us, I can language. speak my language and it's I'm very, very, very terrible. proud of it. I can speak my language. I am very, very, I'm very fluent proud of in it. I don't really speak my language. I also know how to speak Hausa. I advise parents that even if their children don't know how to speak their own personal language, they should learn at least Hausa. the three major Nigerian no, languages. No, Hausa. Which is, you see, the Hausa depends different. on the location you are. If you are based in the northern part of Nigeria, okay, Hausa is, is a go for you. It, like if you grew up in the northern part of Nigeria, mm. you should know how to speak Hausa. If you grew up in the, the western part, you know how to speak Igbo. Sorry, Yoruba. Mm. Then the eastern part, you know how to speak. You see something Igbo. like that. So I feel like you should know how to speak at least one major <laughs> type, depending on where you grew yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. If that if you don't know how to speak your own language, but your own language is very important. It's even number one. Thing, uh-uh. <laughs> That's right. You see, one thing I admire about Yoruba people, even if they've stayed in the US or wherever you are mm-hmm. for decades, mm-hmm. you see that Yoruba, they know how to speak. I'm telling you. I don't know if they sit them down and write <laughs> it. This is this, but. Even if they have never been to their own hometown, that is like here in mm-hmm. Nigeria. They will understand. They it. know how to speak Yoruba. Yeah, they they understand, understand. They speak. Like they know everything. And then I'm like, so what is popping off? Mm-hmm. The minority. Oh, yeah. Old tribe. No, it's not even we are not so well what, known. Yeah, and still, so we still want actually to. stopping us from learning our own language? Because there's nothing wrong with it. It's a very nice something. I'm proud of, to be an African, a Nigerian, all. Definitely. But I need to learn my own language yeah. so that I can go somewhere now and go talk. And then people won't understand me. We <laughs> come to the end of the video. And I'll advise that each parent, mm-hmm. the society, they should learn their language because it's very, very important. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye. Bye. Bye.